Hi everyone, as I'm uh, finding my way around the new car, I just thought I'd show you a few bits and pieces. So uh, here's the boot size. Now this rubber mat that I've got laying down in the boot, excuse the seagulls, they're kicking off uh, on the drive. Uh, this rubber mat came out of my Etron 55. And as you can see, it's just a few centimetres um, shorter. Um, you've got about a metre length to here and a metre four across which is uh so the width you can see is exactly the same maybe just a fraction wider um down by the seats than it was in the e-tron 55 um but it's the depth that is uh that is the difference i've measured this at about um about 53 centimeters against 48 and i've got about 50 centimeters at the end of the parcel shelf and that was only 42 in the previous car and then from the floor up to the uh, the height here, I'm measuring that at about 77 versus about 70 in the old e-tron. Um, I've got the side pockets in this, which I didn't have in my Audi e-tron, but they uh, they were fitted in most cars, which had a kind of 125 quid optional storage pack. Underfloor storage, once again, there is some. Um, I've already been loading up, so I've got cables and a few bits and pieces in there and a big box of the subwoofer that it's in the way. Um, I think that well is a bit bigger than the Utron one. Um, it's certainly, it's a bit deeper this way, but I don't think it's quite as long that way. Um, but you haven't got the spare wheel well in this um, to load any extra things into. So although on paper, this is 526 litres, I think the old car was 569. I reckon I can get as much or more into this. And while we're talking of storage, um, let me show you the front. Frunk on this, um, super convenient. It's kind of got a rubber seal on it, so it doesn't need the separate lid, but it's at least double the size of the previous one, um, 60 something liters. So uh, certainly the size of the boot combined with the frunk, loads of storage space in this Q6. So if you want more updates on uh, how the Q6 compares with the previous e-tron or the Q8, hit subscribe and I'll keep loading up some videos as I find my way around this new car. Certainly the uh, tech on it is, uh, it's a bit complicated, um, but I do love the tech stuff. So uh, yeah, let's see how I get on with that. And um, at the moment, I'm just struggling to sign in to get my phone to work as a key, which I think is a function. Uh, they gave me a credit card that should work as a key as well. So uh, yet to get that to work. I thought I was signed in as a key user and then uh, it said I was a key user, but then it told me to add a key user. Um, so it's not going that smoothly. I think it could have worked a bit better, but uh, there's already software updates out on this car. So we'll see how things go. Hit the subscribe button to keep you updated on the car.